Greetings, greetings, my brothers and sisters, remnant family. This is a day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise Jesus. I want to give the Lord thanks. Last night we had a good Bible study for all those who were able to get on. We had a bit of technical difficulties, but we pulled through. Also, tonight we are supposed to have our prayer meeting. And um, my technician, Brother Michael, he has to work. Um, he got an emergency call, so he'll be working. So my 11-year-old daughter, she says that she can set up a Zoom link for me. And she can make me the host of that prayer meeting officially. So my daughter and I will be working on it. And so... When we come up with the Zoom link for the prayer meeting, I will hopefully um, post it in the comment section of this video. Bless the name of Jesus. And I will also send it to the, 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 the prayer group, WhatsApp group that we have. Praise the name of Jesus. It's work in progress. It's not perfect, but we are trying our end of our best to come together to pray together, to study the word together, because that's what we are to be doing as remnant, coming together at this time. Bless the name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, I just want to say to you all, I'm just, um, I, I just feel like saying this to you all this morning, that I love you. I truly love you. I, I genuinely love you. I am genuinely, loving you i accept sorry that word is in my mind sorry because that 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 word is going to be a big word in the video what i should say is i appreciate i appreciate you all you know i give the lord thanks for those of you who have subscribed i give the lord thanks for those of you who have been talking back to me i give the lord thanks for those of you you know who are who have been supporting this channel, you know, and supporting, bless the name of Jesus, the work of God in whatsoever way you can. You know, your prayers are needed, bless the name of Jesus. And so I just want to say thanks to all those who have been always, there's always a comment, you know, whether you disagree or not, I give the Lord thanks. I just wanted to say that this morning. I truly appreciate you. God bless you. Um, I want to talk to you based on the topic. You must see the topic by now. Uh, the so-called former president. The so-called former president. Um, which by now you all should see that this man has not gone anywhere. And I'm, I, I've asked this question already and I want to ask this question again. Have you ever seen a president, an ex-president, ever been so busy in your lifetime? Talk back to me in the comment section. Which president that have left office? It's not, it's not, it's not a year. It's, it's, not, it's not two years. It's not three years. My God. It has been years and this so-called ex-president, he has been more vibrant, he has been more busy, he's so active, bless the name of Jesus. Check the body language when you see him on the campaign trail. Does this man look like an ex-president to you? When you see him and when you see old Joe, who looks like the leader? Open your spiritual eyes, my brothers and sisters. Who seems to be the leader? Who seems to be in charge? You don't have to look too hard to see who is the leader. You don't have to look too hard to see who is in charge. And I've been listening to quite a few of his speech because what this man says is very important. Because I know this man is playing a great role in these end of days. And so whatsoever he says, 
as a watchman is very important to hear. Bless the name of Jesus. And so he has been doing a lot of talking lately, my brothers and sisters. And um, his last speech that I listened to was when I was watching CNN um, on, on YouTube, watching a clip of the news. And he gave a speech to Philadelphia. To Philadelphia. And listening the speech, the thing that disturbed me is that when this man um, speaks, he speaks as if he is outside of the bubble. And so whatsoever the, the so-called president does, he's not a part of it. You know, that deception. When he speaks, he speaks as if everything that happens in this present administration leading the nation he speaks as if he's outside of the bubble. And so when he's encouraging voters, you know, people are so brainwashed. People are so dumbed down that they can't even put the connection together. They can't even realize that, okay, you are this man behind the president. You are actually in charge. You are, you are all working together. So, but it's like people are seeing a separation. And, you know, it, 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 it's mind-blowing. Oh, people cannot just get it that the, this man is 100%. Everything that happens in America, this man is 100% guilty. If old Joe is guilty, if Brandon is guilty... He is 100% guilty also. If, if Joe moves to the right, this man is to the right. If Joe moves to the left, this man is to the left. If Joe does anything bad, wrong, that is crippling the country, this man is 100% with it and in it. My brothers and sisters, let me proceed. He gave a speech the other day at, praise the name of Jesus, at Philadelphia. And he said in the speech, praise the name of Jesus. He says, he, had, he, 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 he admits that things are not good. And he admits that time is tough and time is hard. But in his speech, he does not acknowledge that it's their doing. It's under their agenda. It's by their design. No, that's, that's not in the speech. These men are, 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 are professional. Bless the name of Jesus. I need to get my Bible. I'm coming back. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm sorry. Because there's a word that I want to just point out um, also. That describe these kind of men. Praise the name of Jesus. Um, I believe it's supposed to be in Psalms um, 50, 53. Mm. I, 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 I read it the other day and it was so interested. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, what the word of the Lord, sorry, says, I, I, I can't find where the word that, that would come together with what I'm saying. But I continue in the video though. And so he says at Philly that it is time for the world, time for America, to get rid of some stuff. He says that we are far away from it, but we can get there. And he says, when he looks at it, for America to go back to where America used to be, for America to be, in my own words, great again, he said there are some 
fundamental things that just needs to be done. And he says to him, he says to him, they are simple things. It, it shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be hard. They are, they are very simple. And so he started to give a list of words that we should do. Simple. He says, we need to get rid of dirty politics. He says that as a nation, you know, he says, Philly, we need to get rid of dirty politics. Also, he says that we need to um, get rid of the lies. You know, I was like, he says, we need to get rid of the lies. He says, if we can do these things, he says, for us, to get to a better place at this time, America, Philadelphia. Th these simple things, we, we just need to do these simple things. He says, stop dirty politics, get rid of the lies. And we, we just need to accept science. Yeah, he says, we just need to accept science. And I was like, okay. For America to be good again, for the world to become a better place, this is in the list coming from this so-called ex-president. And so, um, I'm not as bright as many. Bless the name of Jesus. Accept. So I... The definition I, of accent, a distinctive way of pronouncing a language, especially one associated with a particular country, area, or social class. Accept. Here's the definition of accept, consent to receive or undertake something offered. So I, I, I borrowed my wife phone and I, I googled the word accept. Very important. If we can look into this word, what this president says carefully. Number one, accept means consent to receive. So for the world to become a better place, for America to become a better place, we must be willing to consent and to receive. I'm not going to keep calling that word that I mentioned. Right? But I hope you remember the word. This S word. So, consent. We must be willing. We must all, all Americans, no matter how many million Americans that is alive, we must be willing. No matter how many people in the world, for the world to be a better place, we must be willing to accept this S word. And so what he's really saying is that we must be prepared and ready to consent. To consent to receive. Whatsoever is in that S word. It's no good unless we consent to receive it. Give consent. The, it cannot come by force. The Bible says that is going to cause. And so we have to give a consent. Just like with God. 
You go to the, 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 the house of God. You go to a, a street meeting and the, there's an altar call. Are you ready to give your life to Christ? Are you ready to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And so without a consent, they cannot move to the next step to give, to say, no, okay, let us give the, you know, say the sinner's prayer as some people do, or pray this prayer for repentance, you know, and start Bible classes, you know, and all these things until you water baptism. So, don't want to make this video too long. So, number one, consent to receive something offered. What is being offered to the world at this time? This is what, my brothers and sisters, these men normally just slip in the main thing in their speech. They talk a bit of, because what the devil does, he will say quite a few good stuff at first. But his agenda always comes after. That is why the devil always comes with part truth and part lie. Part truth and deception. And so at the beginning of his speech to Philadelphia, it sounds good. We need to get rid of dirty politics. Yeah. Um, we, we need to get rid of... Um, 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 we need to get rid of... Sorry, Naomi. Naomi, you can, you can go see what Mr. Chin need for me, please. All right. Sorry about that. So he says, we need to get rid of the lies. Yeah, all that is good. My, 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 my brothers and sisters, all that is good. But then we also need to accept. Now, the number two um, meaning, the definition um, of accept is Believe. Believe. So whatsoever is being offered, we must be willing to believe. Meaning, we must come to a place all over the world where we are ready to put our faith. Believe. Exercise faith. We must put our faith, our trust in all of this. Is whatsoever, we must believe in whatsoever is proposed. Whatsoever is offered, we so believe or come to recognize. So we must come to recognize that our only hope is this S word. Our only way to return to a world where we can be at least civilized with each other is this S word. Our only hope for the poor. To get over some of the hurdles is to accept this S word. Our holy hope for so many people dying all over the world by war and, 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 and violence. My God Almighty. Wars in the Middle East and war in, 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 in Asia. War in Europe. Because a lot of wars in Africa, a lot of these things, my brothers and sisters, are not even showed on the news. But he says that we must come to the time where we must accept. Um, Ryan, you have to check me back. I, I'm doing a video. So, so give me about another 20 minutes. So we must accept. Bless the name of Jesus. We must accept this S word. And so when I look at it all, my brothers and sisters, this S word, praise the name of Jesus. This, this, um, forgive me, the enemy really 
There's a challenge this morning to do this video. There's a lot of destruction, but sorry, distraction going on, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to go through. I'm pushing through with this video. My brothers and sisters. And so the word to Philadelphia is that <clears throat> this is what I, I highlighted that we all need to accept this S word. And so when we look at Revelation, my brothers and sisters, we see where the word of God says, and the people did not repent. And the people did not repent of their sorceries. Because this S word that was mentioned in Philadelphia, get me clear. It is the same as what the word in Revelation states. This was where God had the problem. This is, this is, this is the end product of the entire book of the Bible. This is what is going to bring all things to a close. The world come to a place where the world accept sorcery and they did not repent of their sorcery. The pastors did not repent of their sorceries. The, the members of the church did not repent of their sorceries. The people in the world, the man in the streets, every kind of people in civilization, the word of God says that they did not repent of their sorceries. That means that until we get to the end, which we are very close now, more and more people will be accepting sorcery. People will uh, believing, putting their faith, their trust in sorcery. People will come to recognize that sorcery is the way. The way out on the deception is sorcery. For us to get back to a, a better place to, for, in this world to live. For the world to become a better place, we must all accept this word that was used by the ex-president, which is the same. It, it's sorcery. Praise the name of Jesus. And so, quickly, my brothers and sisters, you know what? I'm going to do a part two. I'm going to shut it down right here. Because a video is circulating all over YouTube. And I want to talk a bit on it. But I don't want everything to come together in one video because I don't want the algorithm to, to go off and I get myself in any form of, you know, with who know what. You, you know who. So I'm going to shut it down right here. But I am going to try my very best to get the link and post the link up. But my brothers and sisters... The son of perdition is busy. The Antichrist is on the rise. And they are telling us what is needed. But the question is, who are you willing and ready to believe? For you, who is your only hope? Question for you. Who is your only way out of this? My Bible tells me that if it was in this world, we have hope. We would be men most miserable. My hope is not in this world. My hope is in Christ Jesus. I have already believe in Jesus. I have already accept 
Christ Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I accept that Jesus Christ is the only way. I've already accept that Jesus Christ is my all in all. I, I have already accept that Jesus Christ is my healer. I have already accept that Jesus Christ is my deliverer. I have already accept that Jesus Christ is my deliverer. I have already accept that Jesus Christ is my provider. He's the one that supplies all my needs according to his riches in glory. Praise the name of Jesus. Again, I end this video by saying, I truly love you. God bless.